All right, you've heard of sleepwalking. Now teenagers are sleep texting. And in today's Patrick's People, Patrick Clark introduces us to a man who's made it his mission to help others get a good night's rest. Dr. Joseph O'Giles says smartphones are causing teens to do some dumb things. We've done some work looking at schools. Anywhere from 40 to 60 percent of these children, even in junior highs, are starting to sleep with their technology. Next to their beds and heads, and now being connected is causing some to sleep text. It all will wait to the morning. O'Giles says teens are texting unconsciously in the middle of the night. And the bedroom has become a media center. It's being invaded in a way on their own with computers, cell phones, laptops, notebooks, TVs, and it's highly disrupted to sleep. It's fragmenting their sleep time. And for anyone entering REM sleep who responds to the beep of a text, chances are you won't remember it the next morning. It can become an issue of safety, but it also can become an issue of damaging relationships because you're saying things you don't remember. And, and don't didn't may not have really actually meant. So remember, while your alarm clock is tick tocking, stop the texting. No technology. No technology, except for maybe an alarm clock. So it's your uh, was Superman right? The uh, fortress of solitude. Right, yeah, right, that. Right. So you need that fortress of solitude to be completely secure, and so you set that structure up. And shut your phone down for a good eight hours. Patrick Clark, News 11.